Hello everyone, it's me Sam here once again with another video on the Victor Reader stream. So I did an unboxing on this device and yeah, so we did that. I'm going to make some corrections real quick from that last video and then we're going to get right into it. So first and foremost, we're going to get into it real quick so we don't waste too much time. The actual topic of this video, I am going to show you, this is somewhat of a tutorial and I don't find too many videos on this, so I decided to make one. I am going to show you how to use an NLS cartridge on the Victor Reader. Now, a lot of people who receive services from their local state library, more than likely you do receive cartridges like this. Uh, the cartridge can contain one or more books, and they do come in these little containers right here with your... Uh, address and all that and then the titles on the back of the card there are the titles of each book you know so you have the contents <sighs> and they come you know so also you should have you should also have one of these this is the nls player this is the player that they send out to you on loan uh, i don't know if you can i wonder if you can purchase these if someone knows let me know with comments below but they lend them to you so this is a good player. It's really nice, you know, for home use. It's portable. It has a battery. It charges up too. But if you're traveling on a trip or summer vacation or something like that, right off the bat, if you have a Victor Reader, this is a lot easier to carry than this. <laughs> Plus, you can carry this with you just like you would a smartphone or any other MP3 player. Uh so anyway, without that, let's get right into it. I might talk a little more after that. We don't know. Okay, and another correction I do want to make real quick is uh, in the other video, I was showing y'all how, trying to show y'all how to take the battery out. So uh, I'm going to take this plug. By the way, this headphone plug is only for the purpose of this video because it's connected to a speaker over there so that you get, so that the sound can be a little bit better for you, for you all. I've already made this video once and I'm redoing it because the sound that comes out of this isn't very much. It's not very loud. It's got a little teeny speaker like that. Humanware, you know, for the price of this, I feel that Humanware could have had be added better sound to this thing. So Humanware, if you're watching, think about it on the next generation. Put a better speaker on there. My $100 phone sounds better than this. <laughs> Just saying. So anyway, I was showing you all how to take out the battery and I was doing it incorrectly. I was trying to pull out on this because I assumed it was some kind of tab. Well, it's not. And I said I would not mess with it too much. Thank God I didn't because I would have broken it. So I'm gonna show you the correct way now. Um, this is a tab, but it doesn't pull up. It pulls, it slides up. So if you have the Victor Reader like this, it would slide upwards. You would just press down on it and slide up. And, but I'm going to turn it around for just for the purpose of this video so you, people who have low vision, I'm going to get close and you can see exactly what's going to happen. So if you're holding this in the upright, normally you would go up, like I said. But since I'm holding it sideways, I'm going to pull to my left. But so, because I want you to see. So when you pull this up right here, it'll unsnap and the battery will kind of sort of like automatically eject. See, so the battery has come out and that's how the battery comes out so it just fully comes out like that see and there it is right there and putting the battery back is simple you just got to make sure these these pins on the bottom make contact with the battery so we'll put that back in there like that make sure it's properly seated if you're blind you can feel it if it feels flush at the bottom it's good and all you do is you simply just press down just like this down and it relatches itself so that's how the battery that's how you take out the battery you don't pull out don't do as i do <laughs> that's the correct way all right so now let's get into the tutorial we are four minutes in so let's go let's get straight to the tutorial um so we're going to use this cartridge on this player so your player should have come with two cables. It should have come with a long cable and a short cable. The long cable is for data transfers, uh, charging, or tra connecting to your PC to transfer data. 
The short cable is a cable like this. It's short. It has the mini USB on one side and it has just your standard USB on the other side and it's the same type of USB plug that would be on your laptop, the back of your computer. Even on this player, it has one on the side right here on the right hand side next to the headphone jack. We're going to use this to connect this cartridge. So without further ado, let's do that. So uh, we are going to connect the cartridge. So we're going to take the cable just like this. And we're going to orientate the plug like this. And if you feel it, if it feels hard, like if it feels like it's just not going in, okay, don't force it. You will have to turn it around and try to line it up again. And it should slide right in just like that. So once you have that, you're ready to go. So now, uh, one first thing I want to mention first. Before you do this, you have to make sure that your player is set up with the BARD service. So first and foremost, you go into your menu. I'm not going to show you this. I'm not going to show you how to do this because that's not what this video is about. But there are plenty of other videos that will show you how. But you'll have to make sure that you have your login information, that you're logged into BARD through this player. And another thing, too, is you'll have to make sure that the player has been authorized to play BARD books. And you do this by going into your BARD account, going into your settings, and you have to select the link that says Purchase Player. And then you're going to have to enter some information there, uh, personal information, serial number of the player, and so on. And then you will receive a, you will receive an email from Humanware, and they're going to send you a downloadable file that you will then copy to your SD card uh, from the computer. Copy to your SD card, and then you're going to put this card back in, and uh, you make sure you copy that file to the root directory, not to any any folders. It has to be straight on the root. And the player turns on and it'll say something like three keys updated or something like that. That's how you know that the player has been authorized to play books. If you don't do this, then it, the, the NLS books will not work. You'll get a message saying you are not authorized to read this book. Please contact your library. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. So now let's turn the player on. We'll turn the player on. If you have a Victor Reader, you know how to turn it on. If you don't, You'll use the power button on top, the circular button on the left-hand side. It's above the, the the two volume buttons, the arrow keys. You'll hold it down just like this until you hear a beep and the light comes on. You heard the beep. Now you're going to get your welcome and you're going to hear a chime. Uh, let's plug it in so you can hear it better. Thriller audio short story. Okay, so why don't I turn that up? MP3. Here. Connected to okay. Wi-Fi. So let's power it off again because I, I want y'all to hear uh, just exactly how it powers on. So if you're new to a Victor Reader or you're thinking about getting one and you're watching this video, uh, this is actually not a beginner's video. So if you're very new, I would recommend that you watch other videos to get informative, more informative about this. Maybe even get some one-on-one uh, -on -one training on the player. There is a bit of a learning curve to learn how to use this device, but it's not difficult to learn. So once again, I'm going to power it on once again because I wanted you to hear. So what's going to happen is you're going to get your welcome to Victor Reader. You're going to hear a chime. And in my instance, it's going to say connected to Wi-Fi because it's, I'm config it's configured to connect to Wi-Fi. So once again, we're going to hold the button down till the power light comes on and you hear a beep. There's your beep, your welcome screen, and you're going to hear a chime. Welcome to Victor Reader. Please wait. It says please wait because it's, there you go, there's Mysterio. the chime. File 1. Cold Dreams. Psychological Thriller Audio Short Story. MP3. Connected to Wi-Fi. 3. Okay. So it interrupted itself. <laughs> So, okay, so now the next thing we're going to do, the player is on. We're going to take our cable that's attached to the cartridge and we're going to put it into the player. Uh, for those of you who are blind, if you feel the cable, 
it's going to have squared edges and beveled edges right here for those of you who can see this. So the squared edges are the is the top of the cable and that's the orientation where it goes in. So the squared edges go to the top towards the top of the player. So it's facing up. That's how it is. You see that? So it's keyed. You have to be real careful how you put this in. And when you put it in, you want to put it in straight. You don't want to bend or rock because you can bend the pins and that's not good. Very expensive device. You got to take care of it. So once you have it in there, if it doesn't feel right, just turn it around. But like I say, uh, feel for the edges. You'll have beveled edges and square edges. The square edges go to the top. So I have it in and you're going to hear another chime once I put it in and you push it till it clicks in place. If it doesn't feel right, take it out and try it again. Do it again. See, like right there, I do have it correctly, but it didn't feel right. So do it again. There it is. Okay, so you heard another chime. That's indicating that it has recognized the cartridge. Uh, this could have also very well been a thumb drive because you can use thumb drives on this as well. So now that the cartridge is installed, it's there, it's hooked up. Well, not really installed, but it's hooked up. You want to make sure you're in your offline bookshelf. So you do this by using the three upper keys. Remember on the left-hand side, you have your square key with kind of like a raised tactile marking your navigation key there in the middle you have a circular key that's like a circle uh if, for those of you who can see it it has the little wi-fi symbol and then on the right hand side you have a, a diamond shaped key that's your bookmark key so we want to push the middle circle and make sure we're in our on offline bookshelf and we'll know this after that you will press the one key and you should get your options like notes and so on. If you're getting other options, then you're probably not in your offline bookshelf. So let's press this right now. Bookshelf, NLS Bard, two, books, one. So now we'll print book topics, November, December, 2020. Okay, so now we'll press our number six, one key. Number six. Press our number one key. Podcasts, two. Podcasts. Podcast fee, internet radio, two. Playlists, references. Zero Princess. files. NLS Bard. NLS two. Bard. Books. One. Pod. Okay. Internet radio. Internet two. radio. References. Zero. References. Files. Search on Wikipedia. Okay. So that's not the offline bookshelf. So we're gonna push it again. The circle button. Push the circle button again. Bookshelf. Other books. Two. Books. Two. Mystery. Okay, so we're on two books. Press your number one key again, and you should hear things like notes and so on. And you're going to hear, once again, you're going to hear talking books, but it's actually referring to the cartridge. So let's do that now. Press your number one key. Music. One. Music. Book. One. All music. Notes. Notes. One. Note. One. So those are for any notes that you might have recorded yourself. You can record notes using the record button. Uh, so let's press it again. We want to hear talking books. Talking books. Two. Books. One. Okay. A Terrible Beauty by Tasha Alexander. So we are in talking books now. Uh, so it's actually, when you hear talking books, it's reading from the cartridge. And I'll show you this for those of you who can see. It just said A Terrible Beauty. So uh, for those of you who can see this, I'll put it up close if you're low vision. It's right there by Natasha. And then the next one will say Gone with the Wool. So I'm going to use the navigation key, the number six key, and navigate to the next book. Two. Gone with the Wolf, a Melanie Travis mystery by Laureen Berenson. Okay, so we're in this cartridge. We know we're in this cartridge. <clears throat> So now, to listen to a book, it's as easy as just hitting your play stop button on the bottom. So there, if you feel down to the very bottom of your player, for those of you who know your player very well, you know you have your bottom keys down here, and you have a left arrow key, right arrow key, and in the center you have sort of a rectangular button. That is your play stop button. We'll press that now to start listening to the book.
to the cartridge. We'll do that now. Gone with the Wolf, a Melanie Travis mystery by Laureen Berenson, DB77403, copyright 2013 by Laureen Berenson, read by Carol Dines. This book contains 282 pages. Approximate reading time, 9 hours, 20 minutes. This book contains markers allowing direct access to the chapters at level 1. Library of Congress Annotation Melanie Travis agrees to help retiring dog show judge Edward March pen a memoir. Okay, so if I wanted to jump to a specific page, this is what's good about the... Uh... And LS players versus this one here, you have much more advanced navigation. So if I want to go to a page, I can simply just hit the square button up on top. Once again, let's go to the, the center is your number pad. Uh, let's go to the, the buttons on top, and we're going to hit the, the square button on the upper left, on the left side of the circle button. Go to page. Go to page. So if I wanted to go to page, let's see, uh, 46, I will hit the 4 and 6. I think it's going to do that like that. I think. Let's see. I, I'm not sure if this works with the talking books. Let's, we'll find out. Beginning of book. Okay, let's see. Try it again. Go to page. Beginning of book. Gone with the wolf. A milk. Okay, so trying to... I don't think we have those navigation options. Info. Gone with the wolf. A Melanie Travis mystery. So if we hit the zero, you'll get info. 30 headings. Total time, 9 hours, 19 minutes, 38 seconds. Time elapsed, 2 seconds. Time remaining, 9 hours, 19 minutes, 36 So if you seconds. hit the zero key, that's zero. your info button. Bookmarks in this book. Okay, so let's 12 see. 12 books. If we hit Where that. am I? Zero percent heading. One. Gone with the wolf. Um. Time jump. One. Phrase. Level. One. Time jump. One. Minute. Level. One. So we're at level one. Library of Congress annotation. Melanie Travis agrees to help with Chapter one. So. Life is made up of small moments. So what you can do here is if you go to level one, you can navigate to different parts of the book using the four and six keys, which is your left and right navigation. Uh, I thought you could go directly to pages. I'm not sure. Uh, I thought I knew how to do that, but I'm sure there's other videos that can show you how. I'm still new to this device myself, so as I learn more, I will come back with more videos. So anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, the main topic was showing you how to use NLS cartridges on your Victor readers. So yeah, hopefully this video was informative to you all and hopefully you liked it. Uh, so now let's remove the book. So you might be tempted to just pull the book out like that. And I think you can. I don't think it would hurt it, but you know, if you're not sure, if when in doubt, just turn the player off like this. It turns off. You can now safely remove your cable and safely remove the cable from your cartridge. And that's it. So, yeah. And like I said, I was using the headphone jack connected to another speaker because the sound on this thing isn't very good it's got a little teeny speaker like that and it's not very good for a you know for a 400 device humanware could have done better with the sound just saying so humanware if you're watching think about it on the next one <laughs> all right so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video y'all take care and i'll see y'all in the next one if this video helped you out it was very informative or if you just like the video give it a thumbs up helps me out and yeah it lets youtube know that i make good videos and that you guys like them all right <laughs> take care see you in the next one